it takes a stout man to make liquor. Most people would just quit before they started if they knew what was in the shit. And then the second place, it takes somebody that's got a mind to do the shit to buy the material, uh, market it, hell. You don't know who you're going to sell it to. You might sell it to a damn alcohol agent. You don't want to do that. That's a no-no. I've done that. Shit, I've been there. Hell yeah, I've been in jail. Goddamn right. Well, I'll tell you how I got caught the first time I got caught. Okay. In August 1974, I had me a little old two-barrel copper pot, which had a hundred gallons. I was over on a mountain they call Toper over yonder. It was up above Hartford in Tennessee. Well, some goddamn nosy ass rat son of a bitch turned me in. Whoever he was, I hope he hears what I say, but anyway. Uh, I went in there that morning to run my little old pot. It wasn't ready to run, it's still working. But I need some money. So I had to run. I had a fella that was going to buy the liquor the next day, Kenneth Hall. He said, bring me every drop of it, because he no doubt I didn't make shit liquor. I made good liquor. He was a bootlegger, and he could sell all the liquor I took him. No problem. I went in there and I put the cap on that son of a bitch and capped it up. Pasted it in. Fired the burner on it, just had one that core through it. About an 8 inch core running through it with a burner in it. I got it just ready to cap. And there was two alcohol agents up on this real steep hill right above me. I can tell you their name. I don't guess I should. I don't know if I should or not. When I, I was reaching up to peel the cap like that to see if it's hot, see if the steam was coming up on it. And shit, about that time it a gun stuck in my back hot, he said. I looked around, I said, God damn, I ain't killed nobody. I said, what's the problem? They handcuffed me behind my back that quick. And they tore it down. They didn't chop it up or nothing. They tore it down. What do you mean? Took it apart. They didn't just chop it. They no, they, they took it apart piece by piece. Yeah, took it apart piece by piece. And the worm is the most precious thing you've got in a moonshine operation. That's your money piece, they call it. It was Wayne Valentine's worm, made by Junior Valentine. It's made out of sheet copper. It's, you cut a strip so wide and you sort it together in about eight foot sections, and then you pack it full of sand and you roll it around a, an old hot water tank. I know how to do it now. I didn't know back then, but I can make one now. But, uh, that's what the worm is, and that's your most important piece of equipment you got. See, when you run a pot back in them mountains, you'd take that worm out and hide it <coughs> way out yonder somewhere, afraid somebody come by and steal it. And they would steal your worm. Hell yeah. <laughs>